वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल नर्डी टूडे आई एम बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो दैट इज कैमर्स रूल यूजिंग दी कैसियो एफ एक्स डबल नाइन वन ई एक्स कैलकुलेटर सो दिस आर दी थ्री इक्वेशंस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंसिडर एंड फाइंड दी आंसर फॉर इट सी एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जी इज इक्वल्स टू 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 एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस थ्री जेड इज इक्वल्स टू नाइन एक्स माइनस थ्री वाई प्लस जी इज इक्वल्स टू टेन सो first this is the linear equation form these equations are in the form of these right the constant values you can see a1x plus b1y plus c1z is equals to d1 a2x plus b2y plus c2z is equals to d2 a3x plus b3y plus c3z plus d3 okay so here uh, this a1 that is the uh, coefficient of this so a1 means here it's 1 b1 means the coefficient is this c1 is the coefficient is this next here a2 a2 is 2 b2 is 1 c2 is 3 d2 is 9 same for the third equation a3 is 1 b3 is minus 3 c3 is 1 and d3 is 10 that uh, now moving on to the matrix form matrix forms ha is a This is our uh, whatever equation uh, x y z that we need to find. This is the D. A means a one b one c one a two b two c two a three b three c three. All the coefficients we wrote in the form of a matrix. That is one 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 two one three one minus three one. Then x y z. These are uh, 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 I mean the result that we need to find. This is the D. Two nine ten. Two nine ten. Okay, now first Cramer's rule. What we are going to do is write the. Uh, we need to find the determinant of a matrix. How we are finding is the first column we are replacing with D, and the remaining we are uh, keeping it as it is. Same thing for the second one. The middle column we are replacing it with a D. Remaining last two, first and last two, so we are keeping it as it is. Coming to here, last column we are replacing with D. Remaining as two as it is. So just uh, this is the form. You need to just fill in the values, then find the debt of a matrix. For that, a uh, finding debt, we are using the Casio calculator. So see, uh, D one, D two, D three is two nine ten. Okay, as it is, B one, B two, B three is uh, here. We can find one one minus three. This you have to remember. It is a uh, in the in this form. A one, B one, C one, A two, B two, C two, A three, B three. C three. This is in this form that you have to remember. So, uh, looking at this, you can easily fill these values. Okay. Now we have written all the matrices. Now we need to find the debt. Debt. How we are going to find this? We we'll define each matrix, then find debt. So, menu setups. If uh, you have any doubt how to find the debt of a matrix, you can go and watch my previous video. Here, huh? this is the fourth option. Matrix form always. now we are defining a matrix right one okay the number of rows number of columns are three three this is a three by three matrix okay three Co columns is three done now we have to define the matrix so it is two equals to one equals to one equals to nine equals to one equals to three equals to ten equals to minus three equals to one we defined the matrix now we need to calculate it how will we calculate it go to option this is matrix calculation right that that's what we want so click on option 3 done again go to option now we are going to uh, find the determinant right all we did is what go here see determinant that's what we want right so click on 2 Debt of what do we want? Again, go to option. And it's a bit uh, tricky, but very easy. Go to three. Right. Close the bracket. That is, click on equals to. We got debt equals to four. Done. Same thing again. If you want, we can do. But we we should define other matrices so it will be easier for us. Not going back and forth. Click on option. Define a matrix. Okay. We are defining a matrix. Which matrix? Now let's go with B matrix. Okay, B. Same. Number of rows and columns are three, three. 
defining a matrix this is a matrix we want so that is 1 equals to 2 equals to 1 equals to 2 equals to 9 equals to 3 equals to 1 equals to 10 equals to 1 definition part is done again we'll go back and calculate go to option now we need matrix calculation click on 3 again go to option what do we want to scroll down determinant right click on 2 now again go to option which matrix we defined that was matrix b go to 4 close the bracket equals to we got it as minus 8 do the same thing for next matrix again go to option define a matrix this time we are we need this matrix c we are selecting that is 3 okay number of rows 3 number of columns 3 now I'm defining the matrix that is 1 equals to 1 equals to 2 equals to 2 equals to 1 equals to 9 equals to 1 equals to minus 3 equals to 10 done again go to option define matrix that is sorry matrix calculation that is 3 now again go to option we, we need determinant so click on 2 determinant of what the third matrix which we define again go to option then third matrix is mat C click on 5 close the bracket we got 12 last and final matrix is this one with this we will end our uh, Kramer's method so go to option again define matrix D sorry uh, define matrix right so that is 1 now we are defining the matrix D that is 4 okay 3 rows 3 columns done that is 1 equals to 1 equals to 1 equals to 2 equals to 1 equals to 3 1 minus 3 and 1 now go to option we need matrix calculation click on 3 now again go to option what do we want determinant that is 2 again go to option what do we want matrix t that is 6 so we got 4 the final answer x is this whatever answer we got here that is 4 right like uh, imagine this is uh, a b c and this is d so now we need our x value is a by d and y value is b by d a by d as in what do we get here 4 by 4 y will be equals to minus 8 by 4 then again z will be equals to c by d that is 12 by 4 so this is 1 minus 2 and this is 3 so that's how we find this is the grammar so we found x y and z x is 1 y is minus 2 z is minus 3 so that's all about grammar's rule thank you